And good afternoon. Welcome to the last evening show of July. It's July 31st. Soon we'll be clocking into August. Hard to believe. A lot of you are going to have uh, kids starting up school here pretty soon. Orientations began today. They'll run through Friday and, and uh, maybe into the next of uh, next week I, or the beginning of next week, I believe. But school starts next Friday, August 9th for the entire uh, parish. Let's jump into the show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this evening for our evening show, 4.30 p.m. Most days, except parish council days, we get back in here, check in on what happened with the parish council. So keep your eyes on those shows. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. We appreciate those of you who are checking this show out right now live on Facebook. <clears throat> if you are driving, we do hope that you're listening, not watching. Those of you who check this out later on YouTube or on our website at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast, we do appreciate that as well. We also have long-form podcasts on the website. We also push them out via Anchor FM to all of your podcast needs, except, and I'm having trouble this evening, except for Apple Podcasts. We are still waiting for confirmation from them. We found out from Anchor that it is two to three weeks confirmation we hope to get that to you soon. Jumping in first on the traffic, not too terrible. If you're coming out of Baton Rouge uh, proper, I guess you can say, or downtown Baton Rouge, heavy delays heading to the 1012 split. After the 1012 split, heavy delays up to Airline Highway, and then it clears up pretty well. Heading into Livingston Parish right now, it's about 4.34 p.m. on Wednesday, July 31st. Highway 190, intermittent delays at some lights. Otherwise, pretty clear heading eastbound into Livingston Parish. Heavy delays, uh, 64 at 37, which is right there on the edge of Central. Uh, that's Magnolia Beach Road and Greenville Springs. However, pretty clear as you get into Livingston Parish. Delays have begun already at Jubin and US 190. That is both coming off of Jubin and on 190. So if you are traveling that way, be prepared to wait for a little while. Current weather, 88 degrees, but it doesn't feel like 88 degrees. It feels like 94 degrees, so another hot one this afternoon. Uh, it looks like we might get some rain later, but I don't, I don't, it, I'm no meteorologist, but there was a 40% chance of rain that looks to have dropped off. Tomorrow, high of 90, low of 72 overnight, 20% uh, chance of rain tomorrow, so probably going to be a hot one. Reminder that we get this traffic and weather from brproud.com, which is WVLA. NBC 33 and WGMB Fox 44. Uh, we have a digital partnership with them for which we are most appreciative. Uh, we would also like to bring your attention that if you are a DirecTV or AT&T subscriber, right now you don't have access to Fox 44. The reason that's important is because in the fall, NFC games are on Fox, which means you can't watch the Saints. So, uh, as well as all of their other programming, including news and, 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 and those kinds of things. So please, please, if you could call 800-288-2020 to try to help uh, Fox 44 in their negotiations with DirecTV and AT&T, they would appreciate it. Getting into the show itself, we're still talking about the, uh, the issues in Watson and that kind of thing at the parish level. Got a response from the administration and Chris Moody today. We will talk about that in just a second. But first, let's talk about the Livingston Parish Future 5, which is an award ceremony put on by the Livingston Young Professionals Council, which is a subsection of the Livingston Parish Chamber. They had their annual, or they have many meetings during the year, but they had the annual award ceremony yesterday. Um, rock star Jody Purvis from the uh, school board got to speak, uh, talk about his career and the challenges that he faced. I spoke... I used uh, BS, but I actually said it, uh, so I hope that resonates. If you want to watch me say that, it is on our website, www.livingstonparishnews.com. Actually, it's just there, it's, and it's on our app. We have an app. Uh, if you're not interested in paying the $5 a month that it is to use our site, uh, you can just keep the app for breaking news. We still push that out, so if you just want to swipe off all the articles, but if you see a breaking tag, uh, usually we use that for traffic accidents, uh, police reports, as well as, uh, you know, natural disasters. We were rocking and rolling during Barry, so you can check that out. But back to the future five. The five this year, very deserving, uh, cool group of 
cool group of folks, a very successful group of folks, running through them real quick. Jamie Felder, who is the Chief Financial Officer for the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office, you give her, her uh, your tax money. She's uh, the one that plays with it. Ashley Freeman, Administrative Assistant for the Town of Albany. Blake Harris, who is a lawyer with the firm of Boyer, Abel, Abels, and Angel. Um, I picked on Mr. Brian Abels because uh, his name doesn't match the, match the rest of them. They're all Boyer and Abels and Angels, and he's just Harris. Um, Nikki Laverne is the technology facilitator for the Livingston Parish School System. And Ms. Casey Stewart of Stewart Family Medicine. Those were your future five winners this year. Congratulations to them. Uh, also, the Livingston Young Professional Member of the Year was Quality Engineering's uh, Jamie Seal. You can read all about the Livingston Future Five winners and what they've accomplished so far in their lives at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash news. Again, that's $5 a month online. Uh, if you're having trouble staying logged in, please give us a call 225-665-5176 or email drew at lpn1898.com. The Livingston Parish Council has engaged Fayard and Honeycutt LLC, which is a uh, local law firm, in a uh, litigation suit against opioid manufacturers. Uh, in 2018, 33 people in Livingston Parish died of opioid overdose uh, or heroin. They're used interchangeably. Uh, and many, many, many more were arrested for abuse, theft, um, and the use of. Uh, so you know, the parish has in, engaged this firm uh, to be part of a, a massive litigation against pharmaceutical manufacturers. According to uh, Chief Attorney for um, Honeycutt, Fayard and Honeycutt uh, by the name of Blaine Honeycutt, uh, if you don't have a seat at the table, there's a chance that if money is delivered to the state, it might not trickle down to those for whom there is no negotiator. Uh, that is Blaine and his crew's job is to make sure that the people that they are representing or the entities they're representing have a seat at the table. Uh, it is his desire that the, and the parish's desire that any money that comes back will be used in the form of policing the issue, uh, as well as rehabilitation for those who have been incarcerated or found to have problems with these substances because they, they may have gotten them legally from a doctor. Um, uh, Fayard and uh, Honeycutt will receive 33.3% of the award uh, from that suit uh, should any money come to Livingston Parish. Otherwise, there is no fee. Getting into, uh, oh, before I get into the Watson thing, the, uh, as you may or may not know, hackers are currently targeting the school systems. Uh, they tend to, in the past, have had uh, poor cybersecurity implements. This had been discussed in months previous at the school board, uh, especially from uh, HR Director Bruce Chaffin. And um, it, it appears that they are now going to take down their servers for the time being in order to implement some better cybersecurity measures. Uh, that was discussed yesterday in the marathon uh, committee meetings that the school board had. You will find that information at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash news. The rest of those uh, committee reports will come out as uh, Mr. Kevin Fambro finishes them. Another quick announcement uh, is that you can find uh, all sorts of information uh, through our feature story of this week, which is the feature for this Thursday's paper, which is talking about what these schools do between when the children leave in May and what happens in August. And with the exception of a few weeks off for teachers, they stay really busy. Uh, they're also very excited about the opening of the Vocational Center at Southside Elementary's campus, Fort Denham Springs High School. Uh, you can check out that information. The title is called No Rest in Summer. It is also, we also have several feature stories centered around the school system in Thursday's paper uh, that you can check out. So, finally getting to the parish issue. Uh, after hearing from Chris Moody, who is the parish attorney or the parish council's attorney. Uh, Mr. Talbert came out and said that he was going to continue to push for a resolution demanding that the parish president, um, at the very least, allow the people of Watson to speak, if not start this project over from the beginning. However, after uh, conversations between uh, myself and the news and Mr. Mr. Chris Moody or attorney Chris Moody, uh, it has been determined that for the time being, um, this project uh, was misrepresented as uh, residential to begin with. 
um, after it, it, there was a mistake made at the, um, at the permitting department where uh, the customer came in and said, I want this to be a residential dormitory. So they permitted it as residential. Uh, and then after being, after construction had begun and the problem had been found, uh, it was re-permitted as, as commercial. However, uh, the, uh, the, the, the business owner uh, had begun working with the parish to try to shore up deficiencies that were discovered by the fire marshal and the uh, parish inspector. After some time, the uh, construction was given the green light and that was when Mr. Tal uh, that would have been in late June and that was when Mr. Talbert brought the issue back up when he found out that con uh, continuing construction had been given the green light. Uh, the issue there uh, that Mr. Talbert has is that uh, while the business owner has agreed to have an individual impact study done as well as build the privacy fence that had been discussed, Watson's public comment uh, on the issue which is relevant for and, and allowed by ordinance uh, for any commercial project as it has to come uh, for a public hearing in front of the council as well as planning and zoning is still lost. So he will continue that push although According to Chris Moody, uh, since this was uh, generally, as he says, since this was a uh, mistake that was rectified and the parish has, uh, has already begun, our parish administration has begun working with the, uh, the business owner on this issue, there's not much uh, recourse that the parish council has. Uh, Mr. Talbert did say that the parish has a uh, residential permit and inspector uh, or building review individual uh, who he believes should have caught this issue uh, to begin with and he is upset that you know the the process was was able to be usurped in this way uh, whether it was intentional or not we will continue to delve into this into this issue of the uh, commercial building at premier concrete in watson for you but that is the latest uh, from mr chris moody that generally uh, if a mistake is made in the permitting process, the administration picks it up from there, corrects the deficiencies, and then the, uh, the process is moved forward, uh, which means that in this instance, Premier Concrete probably will not appear in front of the parish council, but time will tell. Moving into sports, uh, a lot of college sports came out uh, came out of the woodwork yesterday. Uh, LSU's Paul Maneri, as head baseball coach, was heaping praise on Kate Doty, uh, who is a former Denver Spring standout. You can read about that www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash sports. Remember, five dollars a month. Uh, college football, uh, Southeastern's Petit Frere, and I did not receive any calls today, so I'm going to guess that I pronounced his name right who is a wide receiver and kick return specialist for Southeastern, for uh, the Lions, was named a uh, preseason All-American. Uh, so we'll see if he fit if he lives up to the billing um, uh, this year. We're also, it's football time. Uh, we were just talking about college football, but it's high school football time as well with school starting next week. Those kids will be going through uh, camp and you know preseason practice, getting ready for jamborees in late August in the first game of the fall season, although around here it's still pretty hot so far. Uh, the sports crew has rolled out Live Oak Denim, and today was Walker. So you get a little preview of all those schools and their football programs for this year. Our football uh, special section will be coming out for the week of those jamborees at the end of August. We look forward to you looking at it. It is an 8.5 by 11 magazine style. Those guys are putting out great content. Please keep an eye out for that. Again, don't forget that Tucker won the – Lazy Dogs of Summer contest. Uh, he was the one that was found sleeping in his bowl. You can check that out at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash living. Uh, there's some local authors that are going to be visiting Cavalier House Books on August 3rd. Uh, that would be Tom Aswell, who most recently penned Louisiana's Rogue Sheriffs, A Culture of Corruption, and Johnny Armstrong, author of Shadow Shine, Shadow Shine, An Animal of and they will chat with readers and sign copies of their work from 2 to 4 p.m. Again, that is Tom Aswell, a Denham Springs native, who most recently penned Louisiana, Louisiana's Rogue Sheriffs, A Culture of Corruption, and Johnny Armstrong, author of Shadow Shine, An Animal Adventure. And they will chat with readers and sign copies of their work from 2 to 4 p.m. Also, want to uh, do want to mention 
Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. One last thing, and this is uh, the other lifestyle. North Corbin Junior High 4-Hers volunteered with the Assess the Need campaign this past weekend. That's run by Assessor Jeff Taylor out of his office. They go and collect school supplies for needing children and then distribute them uh, in the weeks in August leading up to the school year. This past week was a collection. Past weekend was a collection weekend. This next weekend is the last collection weekend. They're Saturday and Sunday outside of the Walmart locations in Walker, Watson, and Denham Springs. Also want to give a shout out to Garrett Graves and his crew and the crew of Livingston Young Professionals for setting it up. Garrett Gra Congressman Graves visited uh, the parish last night and held sort of a impromptu meet and greet. And it wasn't impromptu. It was our RSVP. But what was interesting about it was he gave one on one visits with uh, with residents and constituents to talk about the issues going on in D.C. Uh, he was there for about three hours and that was set up through Livingston Young Professionals, which was also the group that distributed uh, the Livingston Future Five Awards and uh, made the unfortunate decision of giving me an open forum to talk. So again, uh, let's one more time around the bend. Uh, traffic still looking pretty good once you get past the 10-12 split and really past airline if you're heading eastbound back into Livingston Parish from Baton Rouge. Heavy, heavy, heavy delays in downtown Baton Rouge right now. Not looking great. However, 190 just pretty much open heading into Livingston Parish. No, no heavy delays there. There are some heavy delays at the light, Greenville Springs and Magnolia Beach Road. Uh, as well as once you get into Livingston Parish, some delays at Magnolia Beach Road and Highway 16. Delays have already begun. Heavy stack up at Jubin, Jubin Road and Highway 190, which is Florida Boulevard. It is currently 88 degrees, although it feels like 94. Still don't understand that. Um, it is 72 is your low tonight. Uh, no, no chance of rain. Um, <clears throat> uh, 72 degrees is your low tomorrow. Uh, high, of, high of 90 degrees, 20% chance of rain there. Again, we appreciate you joining us. If you're joining us live here on the Livingston Parish News Daily Show, we have two of them, one at 7.30 a.m., one at 4.30 p.m. The only time the 4.30 one's different is when we have a parish council meeting. I slide back in here afterwards and give you sort of a wrap-up show uh, if, if you are interested in reading or listening to such things. Uh, we are on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. You can check us out there. As I mentioned earlier, if you are join, if you have joined us live, we do appreciate it. Otherwise, you can always listen to these audio and video recordings at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast, and you can catch up on old shows you may have missed there. Uh, we do leave them up, and uh, they they stay there for a while. So if you're out of town for a week, don't really feel like watching me or listening to me on your vacation. I don't blame you. Uh, you can always catch back up at that uh, website, which is www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. Again, we appreciate you joining us. This was kind of a long one. We got into a, a couple of different subjects real deep. Uh, we will be back at you in the morning. Uh, probably some follow-up on some of the headlines we talked about tonight, as well as some new things coming down the pipe uh, this evening as, we, as they get written out. Thanks again for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow morning in August.